Welcome back, my supporters, to Life with Jimmy Susbere. And I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel, showing me love through this journey of YouTube. Thanks. Much love. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for being loyal and always being there, supporting me by watching my videos. Uh, I just got one request can you guys please hit the like button for me please and also don't forget to uh, watch this video all the way through uh, today in this video this evening I'm actually gonna be doing another car car review uh, with one of my good friends Randy uh, so you guys this is my good friend Randy right here what he do what he do yes sir and uh, I also got uh, life with Troy in the building he's gonna be helping me out with some b-roll footage so uh, yes sir, go ahead and say hey to the people, to the What's viewers. What's up everybody, this is Life with Troy. Yes sir. All right, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on his channel please. And um, yeah, let's get this video started. Um, so Randy, tell, tell my viewers uh, what year this uh, Carvette is. So it's a 2014 Stingray. All right, cool beans. And uh, out of all the cars that you could have got yourself into, like why would you choose a Corvette over any other car? First of all, it's a shit. Oh, okay. Can't go wrong with a shit. Got you. I put Chevy first, Ford second, Dodge land. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm damn. Sorry. <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> damn. Okay, so no love for Dodge, no love for anybody else. Just Chevy but, uh, is number one on that. Yeah, just Chevy, man. The, the, when this year came out of 2014, you got to realize the transition that they call what they did is, you know, it's really no words for it. Yeah. It's really no worries, man. It's just beautiful. Beautiful car and a strong car as that. Yeah. It's, especially when they switched to the LT1 engine in there. So gotcha. Got this on the steel. Came from uh, Ohio, man, to be, to be exact. Uh, gotcha. About around 40,000. Had 6,800 miles on. 6,400 miles in 2014. Got it in January. So this year, 2020. So can't beat that. It's still got to take it. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, the first thing, you know, the exterior. You want to talk about the exterior yeah, is... Yeah, that's fine. The kit. So... The front splitter and the side skirts uh, got that for about around thirteen hundred dollars, and it is carbon fiber, man. It's it's, the, it's a lighter weight, so it ain't adding much to the car itself. Um, beefed up the uh, the wheels, so took the old wheels off. Wow, Sinatra! Sinatra. Took the eighteens and the nineteens off, put nineteen to twenty, so it's nineteen by ten. 20 by 11s and uh, I went with the 305s at the back. I didn't want to do the 315s. Uh, but yeah, so I love the exterior of the car, man, just the way that it looked. Uh, the roof, got the roof wrap on it, got that black. I kept the yellow bar in there because I think that just look good and it still flows with the car itself. Um, as you seen earlier, I got the front windshield tinted, 35%. Gotta look dark, but uh, yeah. That's pretty much for the exterior, yeah. I believe. Okay. Um, tended, the, tended the lights, the side markers. You have to do that because it just, you don't want rain and orange just sticking out from it. So I mentioned that you've done some modifications to the exhaust. What exactly? Yes, yes. So I did, I did. you want to say the whole exhaust? I started at the headers. So I got uh, speed engineer headers and uh, speed engineer X pipes. Uh, for the back axle, I went with all the exhausts. Up. Is it louder? It is loud. <laughs> I would say it's loud. You know? but that's but, what's uh, up. How then, much horsepower does that generally give you? So uh, I got my car tuned at Pro Speed, Northwest Side. Um, it came out about 531. So that's what that, that say what is laid down. You gotcha. know, numbers gonna be up and down with that. You just don't know. It was a Dino Com gotcha. uh, Dino that they did it on. Gotcha. 
But quick question. So before you got it tuned, uh, did you do the exhaust before you got it tuned, or was that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does changing the exhaust to this boiler system does that help with any additional horsepower or no? Yes. So any modification you do that's pretty much bolt on, mm -hmm. uh, like the headers, the X pipe, the, the uh, axle bag, also did the uh, cannon uh, intake also, oh, okay. all that's going to add horsepower. But when you do gotcha. those changes, you have to get it tuned. Because gotcha. if not, your car run rich. Uh, you know, gas gas needs to go do it through. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. got to get it tuned and um, and that's going to beef up your horsepower. Gotcha. You know, it's going to beef up your horsepower and your torque. Gotcha. Okay. All right, um, you did mention the uh, k and intake. With the uh, intake that you installed, like ideally, like how much does this particular one cost and which model is, or which which uh, brand is that one? So it is a k and uh, so you're looking at well between maybe 10 to 15 horsepower added. It doesn't add that, that much, much. Gotcha. you know, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. All right, and uh, do you have any like future plans as far as like more uh, modifications that you want to do to it in the near future? Yes. So, future right now the car only has about ten thousand miles on it, so I don't okay. want to bring it in right now. I still want to enjoy it before mm -hmm. you know, you know, gas prices goes up. Gotcha. But um, man, it's either supercharged or just rebuilding this whole motor for as. You know, heads, cams, you know, gotcha. switching out the long two headers that I have now gotcha. for American Racing headers and X pipe. Gotcha. Um, so when I really get into it, I, I'm going to dig into motor deep. Mm -hmm. Now, another question. Since you are thinking about going that deep into it, is this something that you are looking to keep forever? Like, is this show. I hope. Is this is a keeper, right? I hope. Because most people, they get <laughs> cars and, you know, they trade them in as the newer years drop. Yeah, so and uh, so I'll just it was just one of my questions. Yeah, I'm looking to keep it, man, for the rest of my life. You know, gotcha. as you know, I got three boys at home, so yeah. if I don't want it, I can pass it down. Yeah. Uh, but it things happen, as you yeah. know. The the Q7 I had, the Audi, yeah, you know, got in an accident, gotcha. flipped over, and that was total. So yeah. you know, God bless me with that one. Hopefully, mm -hmm. no accident happened in this one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Well, that's what's up, man. Um, well. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, move on to our next phase of this video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some uh, exhaust notes. We're going to go ahead and get some B-roll of this uh, transformer on the road and what it looks like. And uh, also, you know, another a, a view on the inside of it, uh, you know, when you're riding. So just stay tuned and uh, we'll hit y'all with a little bit of B-roll right now. take my first ride in a Corvette uh, I want to see how much uh, power this baby has so. God damn what the heck bro so normally on the old main with transmission when you downshift it start to break you let me see if you can hear it so if I downshift and my RU RPMs pretty much stay where it's at. Gotcha. That way you don't lose any power. Gotcha. It's a good thing for like track mode. So when you're on a track and you're going in a curve, yeah. instead of it breaking for you, yeah. you, you're still having that power right there. You, you're right back on it. Gotcha. Dang. 
And uh, I know uh, you mentioned that this uh, particular model has five different drive modes. Yes, you have weather, eco, touring, sport, and track. So right now we're in track, but I'm not in competitive mode with them. to have the opportunity to ride in the Corvette and also for him to uh, basically take his personal time to come out here and uh, be in this video with me. So just wanna say thank you, bro. Hey, Appreciate no problem, your support, man. man. No problem, no problem.